Yo, what up? My name's Chow. Welcome back to Life is Strange. Before I begin episode 4, let's talk shop for a quick second. I wanted to make an analysis video on the episode 4 trailer that came out a couple days ago, but I didn't have enough time to make it. So let's take a moment and go over a couple things real quick. I think we're going to be starting in the new timeline because Chloe's house is still painted blue and the walls of her room are completely clean and devoid of writing. The red barn that Max trespasses into during the trailer can actually be seen on the outside of American Russ, which is the junkyard that Chloe took us to. If you go towards the entrance of American Russ and look beyond in the background, you'll see that barn. The dark room, which is probably where the red binders are being kept, is probably beyond that big heavy safe door. And the preview is hinting that the safe door is underneath the barn, but I'm not sure about that yet. The town's going to be evacuated, most likely because the citizens have found out about the natural weather disaster sets like, that, are, that are happening. And the proof of this is the TV inside the kitchen of Chloe's house. There's a little news segment about the beach whales that you see at the end of episode 3. Eventually we're going to get back to our regular timeline because there's a little clip of Max inside Chloe's room and Chloe's room in that clip is decorated and the walls are full of writing yet again. And last but not least, Nathan Prescott. He knows that a storm is coming, and he knows they're all gonna die. But I have no idea how or why he knows these things, and I'm actually most excited to find out about that. So without any further ado, let's begin. There you go, dark room. Oh uh, yeah, alternative beach. I hope you all are ready for this, cause I am not mentally or emotionally ready. But let's go anyway. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Ah, <sighs> god damn it. Is it just me or did the font change? I think the font might have changed, either that or it's been a while. excited about the opening of every episode, but I don't know about this one. Fuck. 
Fuck, man, that's so sad. Humpback whales. They're beached. So sad. There's so many of them. Fuck. Fuck. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. Oh, thank God you can talk. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. Ugh. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. Fuck. I don't mean that in a, in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. <laughs> uh, pretty much. Yeah. Same old Chloe. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. Oh, fuck. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Uh, my fingers are a little twitchy. I, this is a lot to take in. In the beginning. Uh, fuck, dude. Oh, I had a thought that I wanted to share, but now it's gone. Oh. And during the end of uh, episode 3, I was actually really concerned, especially seeing that hose right right in the middle of her throat. I was kind of worried that she wouldn't be able to talk. So at least we can talk. I noticed that she's blonde, blue eyes. Okay. I'm not blaming William. Talk about accident. Yeah. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and, and that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. They could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Oh, oh, they're not friends. Rachel and Chloe are not friends. I see the color blue, green, and red all on her all at once, but I'm overthinking it. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. Yeah. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. <laughs> it's the end of our world. Yeah. I mean, what what is real, honestly? If you can jump time, 
in space like the way Max can, what is reality even? So it might just be the end of the world. It might be, but I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too, but I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? <laughs> It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word. No what? Oh, what? Oh my god. Who are you? You can seriously hear the, the guilt in Max's voice. You so hear the guilt in Max's voice. God, the guilt. But hey, it's not like they're on bad terms. They've just kind of been estranged from each other. And lighthouse. Something's going on in that lighthouse. I don't know. Fuck. The house looks like really good. Oh, it's a pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. She said, parents. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Oh. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? I am gonna take my sweet ass time, if you don't mind. She said parents. That means Joyce is alive. Please, let Joyce be alive. Uh, kinda, <coughs> kinda considerate of her though, to, um, give her parents an excuse to get their frustrations out, cause I can... I don't know. I don't know what it is to be a parent of like a child that's handicapped. It must be very difficult, but what can you do? The most you can and most you should do is just curse at the heavens, you know? The house looks really good fully painted though. I'm glad I took this photo. Oh. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. This photo is how we're gonna get back. Oh my god, no. If this if this photo is how we're going to get back to our timeline. I'm glad I took this photo. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. If this is the photo that we have to use to get back to our regular timeline, that means you have to watch William walk out that door knowing exactly what's going to happen to him. Oh my god. Holy shit. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. A red house right next to a blue house. That's a serious heat lamp. Yeah. Chucks. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Okay. Snow doll. Oh, the snow doll. I guess not everything changed. Good. Good, stuff is still here, good. Snow globes are taking over. Yeah. 
Alright. <laughs> I noticed this thing. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's just a weird looking happy face. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. I don't know. There's a lot of things that happened that put Chloe in that chair, but I can see why Max feels that way. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. Clouds? It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Chloe, you know we love you and you're in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see your smiling face soon. Please be well. Ryan Vanessa Caulfield. Thinking of you? I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Dear Chloe, I'm so sorry for what happened. Know that I am here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again. Hugs and kisses, Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. <laughs> Real nice. Chloe, just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like, I hope you are well, etc. I know your life is so different now and I don't want that to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. I hope you are well. <laughs> oh, Max. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Oh, look. That, uh, corn dog figure with the mustard on it. Uh, still good at selfies, though. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. I didn't add much. Bad, Max. Yeah, Max. Fuck. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Yeah, that's, 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 that's what you should do, right? I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Max is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Yeah, girl. Can we get on, like, a better comfort level? Y'all are, like, acting like fucking weird strangers, yo. Whoa. Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Badass. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. Yeah. There's the old Chloe. Yeah. Alright. Just... <laughs> Nothing's gonna stop me from snooping. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. Okay. Cool. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Mm, Hot Wheels chat room. <laughs> Fuck. That's kind of funny. Uh, Badoof. Oh my god, Pokemon reference. Ignatius, Oddball, Handybot, Eileen, Miss Blue, and Snack. What are you doing? Talking with you? Ha ah, no shit. I'm about to binge on Quantum Leap. Oh my god, I love Scott Bakula rules. Hmm, okay. Wait, there's probably more. Chloe, that's so cool that Chloe no. has made friends online. No, there wasn't any more. I was wrong. Uh, water. Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? You're really my only friend who kept in touch. I should have kept more in touch. Oh, okay, thank god. I, I was also really concerned that Max might have just, like, dropped off the face of Chloe's planet. That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. Okay, there's no going outside, right? Yep, the water is in here. Okay. Here you go, friend. Oh shit, could have talked to her. Never mind. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. <laughs> Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. Yep. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Yep. Seems like yesterday. Because it was yesterday for us at least. 
I wonder if I can go back. Not yet. Okay. It seems like yesterday. Let's go with that. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god. We covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Um. Well, she said that Max was like her only friend, of course. Can, like, I can be sweet and say you have me, but that's kind of painfully obvious from, from the way Max has been speaking. Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. <laughs> you don't even know. Megan Weaver, huh? That was the girl who sent that card, that really plain card? Hmm. They love you. Are you lonely? Are they okay? You can't go back. Fuck. Okay. Are they okay? Well, they're having a hard time, I'm sure. But they love their daughter, I'm sure. Are you lonely? Probably. Actually, maybe not. I know this is a dumb question, but... Are you lonely here? Yes, dumb question. I don't mind being alone. I can't exactly go party like a rock star, though. Or get in any teen trouble with the folks. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, I bet. Can they pay? Let's, let's fucking be real. I'm gonna be straight up real. Can they afford to pay it? Seriously. Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. Fuck. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Oh my god! Hey, you're priceless. <laughs> uh, uh, clever. No pun intended. Fuck, man. You are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. Oh my god. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Oh, so that's how it happened. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Fuck, Donut, why are you doing this to me, dude? Guys, wait. Fuck, dude. Oh my god. Things always get a lot more complicated when money is involved, dude. Like, fuck. A million dollars a year. I mean... Glad to see you're as nosy as ever. <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> disappoint you. Like, I'm speaking through a lens of cost-benefit analysis, dude. Like, seriously. Oh my god, one million dollars a year. All three of these people are suffering right now. And there's nothing anybody can really do or say about it. Like, what the fuck are you supposed to do? Talk about how your daughter is costing you a fortune and there's no way in hell that this is sustainable? Or do you say, like, if William died, then this wouldn't have been a... a oh my fucking god, why are they doing this to me? Holy shit, this is insane. Oh my god. Oh man, I guess it was worth the wait. My room sure looks different now, huh? It does, but it's still you. God damn, I guess this is worth the, uh, this is what was worth the wait. Man. Uh, here's the DVD. I don't even I don't- I can't even- I can't, man. Oh, the snow dough. Fuck, I- I guess not everything changed.
This is gonna be a hard, hard episode. Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. Pirate power, that's so cute. Alright, let's watch that fucking movie and not really pay attention because... Now we have a movie night. You know Max is just gonna think things over. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck, man. That's sweet. Oh my god, Chloe. believe you fell asleep so fast how dare you i know you were beat down after the day with me and blade runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night uh, do you do you think deckard is a replicant sorry i can see you're not wide awake like me no i'm sorry i crashed so hard were you okay i do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me you are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Fuck, dude. <sighs> Fuck, um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, oh my uh, god. It's Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Alright, I'm not gonna worry too much about time because uh, she's just a video game character. So, are you sure it isn't too weird for you to be hanging out with me like this? No way, man, this is chill. I just wish we can get over the awkwardness. No way. I don't want you to feel weird. My life is just so different than yours. I mean, we can't just bounce out of here and... I'll be doped up half the day in pain, so that's cool. But I do feel grateful I can see the ocean, that I have parents who love me, and that my best friend is here with me today. Exactly. So, what else do you need? Well, Morphine? Hot monkey sex would be nice. Done. <laughs> oh, look. I made Maxine blush. So, are you dating anyone at Blackwell? Ah, a little too busy for that. And you couldn't even feel the hot monkey sex, to be honest. <laughs> oh, I'm too busy with school and photography. Oh, please. You can't be an artist unless you experience life. That includes boys, girls, whatever. Haven't changed a bit. I was supposed bit. to go out with this guy named Warren, but... I don't think he's into me anymore. His loss. You need to move on, girl. Plenty of fish in the bay. Shit, I sound like my dad. Your dad is the best, though. I wonder if she's hooked on morphine. I wonder. That's okay if you sound like William. 
He really cares about you. Rub it in. I can't ever get mad at the fool. He does so much for me. I haven't done Jack for him. You have. You're here with your family. More like they're here for me. But then so are you. So it's all good. Yeah. God. You know the way she was just like wide awake as Max was waking up? Yeah. I was thinking. I'm so glad we had our movie night. Even if you crashed on me. That's why they call it a sleepover. What is life like when you're confined to a sol like one solitary place and you see the world pass by around you? Like let's say during a single day if Chloe does not get outside, she will see the sunrise and sunset in one sitting. I don't know how I feel about that. Seeing the world and time just slip through your uh, slip through your fingers, man. Anyway, let's get her that morphine. <laughs> 